Have you ever looked in the mirror and just thought, is this it? Is this all there is? Well, I remember hitting one of those birthdays. You know the ones I'm talking about, the ones that finish with a big zero. I felt like my life was just slipping away. I felt like the whole thing was about to end. And then today I'm gonna to share with you a secret that I actually discovered during my darkest times that I actually consider true happiness. Trust me, this could be the most important video that you watch this year. True happiness isn't just about fleeting moments of pleasure. It's not about big purchases, next big promotion, or even the next vacation. No, I'm talking about something deeper. I'm talking about true happiness that actually lasts. Let me tell you, getting to that point, well, for me anyway, it wasn't easy. After getting divorced, losing a ton of money in that divorce and other things, and sheer thought of actually starting over again, I was in a place of like ultimate despair. I couldn't even imagine doing it all again. The whole weight of it all, it was just crushing, right? And then in the middle, right in the moment of my darkest moment, I found this like tiny glimmer of hope, this like little simple flame in the complete dark. This tiny flicker of light actually started to open or show me a door to what I consider true happiness. It was greater than anything I'd ever seen or known before. And in this video, I'm gonna share that simple gift with you. So buckle up because we're about to embark on a journey into happiness. You ready to change your life? Well, society has this funny way of defining success for us, don't they? Hey, from a young age, we're bombarded with these ideas that success means climbing the corporate ladder, earning a six-figure salary, maybe owning a big house or driving a fancy car. It's the storyline of just about every movie, book, nursery rhyme that's ever shown to us. And it's done over and over and over again. It's in magazines, it's now in social media, TV adverts, YouTube, you name it. It's just brainwashing us on what we should consider success and what we should see as happiness. And I'll tell you right now, I bought into that whole narrative like hook, line and sink. In my younger years, I was like a knight in shining armor. I started charging across the world. I started conquering different challenges, started carving out a name for what myself, what I thought I did. I felt like I was living the dream, the dream that society feeds us as kids that we should actually strive for. I started setting goals, started reaching milestones. I started getting that dopamine hit. I started to rinse and repeat the whole thing. And for a while, I'll tell you right now, it worked. I felt invincible. I had a business that grew from a million dollars in turnover to over 30 million dollars in just nine months. I was invited to speak on stages around the world with people like Tony Robbins to tens of thousands of people. On the outside, I had it all. On the inside though, let me tell you something, things were falling apart. This newfound fame started to actually destroy my marriage. The breakdown of my personal life caused me to lose interest in my business. My health started to deteriorate. I started to get toxic. My body reached a whopping 150 kilos. You don't believe me, here's a photo. Please don't screenshot that. I hate even looking at it. I should be proud, but there's something about it that drives me mad. I was on the brink right then of giving up. As quick as it had all seemed to come, in a flash, it was all but gone. I'd actually hit rock bottom. I physically, emotionally, mentally, and like many others that have done that, in the darkness, all by myself, is where I actually found that gift that I spoke about earlier. It's where I found, for me, a new level of consciousness. Now, funny side note, most people depict when they go through this new level of consciousness or they have this breakthrough into consciousness, they picture this Buddha-like figure sitting on the grass with lights and sunshine and smiles, and they're in this meadow full of butterflies and everything's great, right? Well, in my experience, it was like being burnt in hell. I'm I, I feel my, I felt my ego literally burning out of my body. It was, it was horrible, honestly, but it was exactly what I needed to do to be free. The steps I had to take out of the dark were actually kind of small, but they were extremely significant. And I'll tell you what they were. First, I had to cultivate healthy relationships. In fact, I had to start with the most important person in the world, and that was myself. Self-care was an absolute must. I also had to do mindfulness. It wasn't for anything else, it was just to be present. I had to stop overthinking something. I also had to start pursuing my passions and my interests again, and I had to start to develop and continue to develop a growth mindset. Now, let's fast forward a couple of years. I'm reaching the age of 50 and a lot's changed. 
okay? I've lost 65 kilos. Now, if you don't know what that like, that is like having the UFC fighter Conor McGregor actually just holding onto your back while you try and live your life. I do not recommend. Now, along with the weight, I lost a lot of ego. Now, let me tell you a little secret about ego though. It's just like weight. You don't just get to lose it once and move on. It's a conscious routine that you have to keep to help you maintain the balance, right? Otherwise, you'll still have moments where you think, hey, you know, is this it? Is this all I have? You know, I need more, I need more, I need more. And I started to do this and I have done this all throughout my life. And I'll tell you a couple of things on what may help as you go through this process. First, it is totally fine to have those types of thoughts. Just accept them for what they are. They're a thought and then let it go. Breathe. Remember, the secret to true happiness isn't about somebody else's interpretation of success. It's not about climbing some imaginary corporate ladder or what type of car you drive or how many people you think know your name. There is nothing wrong with all of those things. Don't ever take that as what I think would be a different or a wrong thing for you to do. But if you're looking for happiness in your life in those places, chances are you're going to find yourself like I did with the thought that you completely and utterly wasting your life. The secret to happiness, it's actually about those things. It's about practicing self-care. It's about cultivating healthy relationships, mindfulness. It's about pursuing your passions, your interests. It's about maintaining growth mindset. This journey isn't about reaching a final destination. It's about constantly moving, constantly evolving, constantly learning and growing. And while I may not have figured it all out, I can tell you that inside, I've actually found peace and I've found content. It's all I could ask for. At one point, I never even thought that was possible. And it all started, as I mentioned, with this tiny glimmer of hope, this like little tiny flame in complete darkness. So what happens after you have this realization for yourself? How does it impact your life? How does it impact your perspective? Well, for me, it was like lifting a veil. I began to see the world completely different. I stopped chasing after what society had defined as success. I started prioritizing what really mattered to me. I started to rebuild some relationships. At first, I focused on my health, found new passions like flying and different things. And I started to really just reignite my own personal spirit. The aftermath of this journey is profound. You start to appreciate little things the moments that really matter. You stop stressing about the future so much and start living in the present. Most importantly though, you find a sense of purpose that goes way beyond material possessions and society's expectations. It's about living your life. It's about living a life that's true to you. One that brings you joy and one that brings you fulfillment. So what are the key takeaways from my story? Well, first, remember that true happiness isn't about the next big thing. It's about finding joy in the journey. It's about appreciating the moment. Second, don't let society define your success or dictate your life. Find success in your own terms based on what truly matters to you. Prioritize meaningful experiences over material possessions. Trust me, no one ever got to the end of their life and said, I lived way too much. They always regret not doing a little bit. Cultivate healthy relationships. Remember, practice self-care and mindfulness and always be open to growth and learning. These are the foundations of what I've found to be a fulfilling life. Now, I wanna hear from you. What are your sources of happiness? How do you define success? Start to share your thoughts in the comments below. Let's start a conversation, learn from each other. If you're looking for more insights and finding fulfillment, purpose in life, be sure to check out some of these other videos. Hit that subscribe button, join our community. Remember, the journey to true happiness is simple, but it starts with a single step. So let's take it. Let's do it together. I'll see you on the next one.